We've got tips and recipes for healthy living. So for fun and inspiration, come and join us in the raw food world. Welcome everybody, this is Matt Monarch with the Raw Food World TV show. Coming at you in Vilcabamba, Ecuador. And Angela is always watering plants. It's like an ongoing situation. Not always. Whenever I want to like say, oh, hi Angela, what are you doing? She's like, I gotta go water the plants. <laughs> Just the other day, we were having some guests over. We've been planning them to have them over till at 5 p.m. perfect timing, like perfect. They, were, they got here at five, and Angela goes, I gotta go water the plants. So what's going on? Well, it's kind of turning from wet season into dry season now, and so there's not so much rainfall. So uh, I'm out watering the plants because they're all getting a bit dry. Didn't you want to show them some sort of stick that turns into a tree? Yeah, these things are portillo, and they. It's so amazing. Look at this. This is just a branch that they cut off from an old tree to make this post, which is going to become a trellis for these grapevines that are spaced out around here. So they just cut off this branch from a tree and stuck it in the ground. And look, it comes to life. It turns into a new tree. And they're all doing it. It's beautiful. It's quite amazing. These things could be like cut off for five years and then you just plant it in the ground and then it just grows into a new tree. And look at these as well. We didn't plant, we've got like tomatillos coming up all over the place. We didn't plant these, these are just wow. like wild tomatillos all the way around the edge here. Is there actually tomatillos in there? I don't know. No, not yet. Wow. Okay guys, so... <laughs> I've always had this dream of sleeping outside. And I wanted to create a structure to sleep outside. And what I've always wanted to do was have the ground as compacted earth. So when you're on the, when you're touching the ground of this bedroom, you're grounded. That simple. And then I wanted to make the wall, I wanted to make it a circular structure and I wanted to make the walls just plain screens. That's all the walls are the entire room. So it's just like sleeping outside just keeping the mosquitoes out. And lastly, I wanted to make the ceiling glass so you can look at the stars and just sit there. It's like sleeping in outside. If it rains, the glass protects you, the bugs are taken out, and it's always been a dream of mine. And on top of that, one time I was at Paul Neeson's house, he had this outdoor shower. You know when you're in the US, you're used to chlorine and stuff like that, but at this, since it was outdoor, like all the air and mist just totally left. It was amazing, and ever since then, I wanted to have an outdoor shower. So what I wanted to create was some sort of master bedroom, master bathroom, luxurious outdoor bathroom somehow, putting the wall up to about right here, and then the rest screens, and then just a glass ceiling. So it's like you're even in the bathroom outside. But since we bought our house already constructed, what can you do? So we're, we decided to build that. We decided to build it as an addition to our house. So. I'm going to show you that in a second, right behind our house. It was kind of like the kitchen. We didn't get the kitchen that we wanted, so we turned it into the kitchen we wanted. I'll show you in a bit. Check out our garden. I mean, it just like, is bumping here. Yeah, I'm really excited about the borage. It's all, all through here, massive borage coming up. Really good for omegas, and it makes the little blue star flowers that you can eat in salads and stuff. And all the fennel and the dills coming up over there, it's beautiful. I love fennel. And what I'm really excited about this week is um, in a few days we have a biodynamic expert coming to visit the land. He's been doing biodynamic gardening for like 30 something years on four different continents. And he lives around here and he's going to come and have a look at our lands for us. And then the next day there's a permaculture expert coming. We love it. Maybe we can do some videos with this biodynamic and permaculture expert Ooh. extraordinaires. That'll be a fun numbers for everyone. And also our chia is off the hook. Oh yeah. Look at this, chia seeds. It's go they're going to seed. Yeah. 
All right, I'm about to go ballistic right now. She hit me with the water like five times. So this is exciting because this is where the seeds are going to be right here. And then this is, what is this, babe? Uh, that one's flax. Flax seeds are coming to seed also. Look at that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, look, the sesame are as well. Okay. And we also got sesame seeds. We just took sesame seeds, flax seeds, and chia seeds, threw them in the ground, and now we're getting millions of them. I, I threw hemp seed as well, but they didn't come up. These are the sesame. Unreal. I'm really excited about this dino kale because I know what dino kale is capable of out here. They were nothing before. Look at this. These are going to turn into huge branches. We should transplant some, babe. Alright guys, so this is going to blow you away because we seriously started this project less than two weeks ago and you're not going to believe how far along it's come. I'm actually standing inside the outdoor bathroom right now. Check it out. This is uh, as, high, as high as the wall goes, and the rest is going to be screen up to there. So it's like an outdoor bathroom. It's huge. And then, straight ahead is our bedroom, if you break that wall down, which we're doing. And right there is the bathroom. I mean, I'm sorry, the bedroom. That's going to be circular. And then there's going to be a glass roof. There it is, manifestation. So we'll keep you updated on that uh, dream of ours, that outdoor bedroom. Are you excited about it? Yeah, totally, it's gonna be amazing. What are you most excited about? Um, about the bedroom? Yeah. Pretty? <laughs> I wanna show them the peas as well. Okay, one more thing. Um, we're going to be sleeping straight on the earth. We're not even going to be using a bed anymore. And it's going to be like solid as a rock. Earth is the ground. Angela, how do you feel about that? Not me. This is the ultimate grounding, barefoot technology you can ever come across. Sleeping on the earth. That would probably just alone add 10 years to your life. Is that, I'm trying to transition Angela into that right now, as a matter of fact, because our bed is like pretty, it's like I got about the stiffest bed you can possibly get. And um, soon we're just gonna have to transition to the earth. Um, I stopped using a pillow, actually. That's kind of an emotional issue because, you know, that's been my best friend for like 30 years. Because that's, you know, if you don't get held at night by your parents and you're just thrown in a crib and you have a pillow. <laughs> Oh no. Okay, what do you want to show them, babe? Uh, I want to show them how amazingly the peas and beans have been growing. And it's so cool because they've been using the amaranth as props. So look, you can see the peas and the beans have been winding themselves up. That's incredible. And this hot, I mean, this is like a jungle now. We probably have footage from when I first planted this and it was just a bare circle, you know? It was just nothing here except the earth and me and some beans. It seems like the amaranth and peas are making love. Baba! And who do we got there? Angela Stokes Monarch. And Matt Monarch. Being a cheeky one. Staring at the peas and amaranth. And we'll see you again tomorrow at the Raw Food World TV Show. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again at the Raw Food World.